Hello and welcome to Mastering System Administration with PowerShell Core 6. My name is Michael Simmons and I've been working in IT operations for about 20 years in roles including system administration and engineering as well as DevOps. I work primarily in the Microsoft stack. I got a lot of experience with System Center, Windows operating systems, and the Azure Cloud. I fell in love with PowerShell when I first started using it in 2007. Back then it was version 1. Now I blog about system administration, automation, scripting, and PowerShell at ilovepowershell.com. You can also find me on Twitter at MT underscore Simmons. The style of this course is code driven. Sometimes when it makes sense to do so, I do leave the editor and I'll cover a few topics in slides. But for the most part, I want to show you and teach you through examples and demonstrations so that I can highlight commands and concepts. In this course, we're going to cover a few different topics. First, we're going to start, of course, with setting up our tools. And then from there, we will have a Windows 10 management workstation and a Windows Server 2016. And once we have those systems set up, we're going to dive into system administration. I'm going to show you all about installing features and configuring services, then working with the agnostics, and, and then finally task administration and working with scheduled tasks to start your PowerShell scripts for you. Next, we're going to get into remoting. And with PowerShell remoting, we're going to take our administration skills to the next level. We're going to be working on one system, connecting to another, performing commands on it, even interactive sessions. I really want you to take it to heart because this is the way that you should be doing your system administration. Next, we'll look at one of the most exciting features of PowerShell, desired state configuration, which is a declarative syntax where we can describe how we want our systems to look instead of describing all of the steps that it takes to get there. And finally, we'll look at data center management, where I'll be using PowerShell to use lots of different workloads in the enterprise, including Azure, IIS, and Active Directory. This course does expect that you're familiar with PowerShell, with concepts like the pipeline, using get command, get member, get module. All of the tools that I recommend in this course are free to download and to install. And the tools in this course will be PowerShell Core 6, Visual Studio Code, and PowerShell Extension for Visual Studio Code. And finally, a little bit of advice. Just to get the skills with any language, no matter what it is, you've got to practice. You really have to put in some time. So I want to wet your whistle and get you started on this journey, but I really want to emphasize that you're going to have to be doing this consistently every time that you can. Be looking to PowerShell first and the GUI only when necessary.